in the Islamic community, Christians are being slaughtered throughout the Middle East. Can you explain to me why for some reason President Obama is bringing like, I don't know the exact percentage, 99.9% .9 of all refugees to the United States are Muslim refugees and virtually no Christians and the Christian slaughter is not even being mentioned, why? It's, it's just bizarre. And, and, you know, literally our ambassador to the UN, uh, Samantha Power is the one that wrote the book on genocide. And it took our Congress to demand that they declare it a genocide for then Secretary Kerry to get backed into calling what ISIS was doing to the Christian community as genocide. If we had an ideological filter against Islamists, which would include probably 30% of the Muslims coming in are supporters of the Islamist movement. 20% have been pulled to have sympathies for ISIS. So if we can pull that, we can certainly vet them, but we're not vetting against any ideology. So we let all anyone who wants to come in, even insurgents come in here. So as a result, it's first come, first serve. If we remove the 20, 30% Islamists from coming in, then you'd have a fair distribution of the five to 10% that are Christians come in. But right now, as you said, out of the last 10,000, 9,954 were Muslim. And there were only by accident 40 some Christians that came in. And that's just un-American and it's unfair. We should only let those in that share our values. And yet you're telling me that hundreds of thousands of refugees that have not been properly vetted, that are coming from the countries yes. that we can't vet, are behind TSA lines in airports yes. with access to baggage and access to those planes and now in sporting events where sometimes there's 50,000 people in an arena and, th Gary. and yes. those people are behind the security lines? Yes, absolutely. I am telling you that we have this documented, we have this researched. Ambassador Woolsey, the former director of the CIA, took it to CNN and took it to Fox. We can't seem to get the lawmakers to really hear this story and have a congressional hearing on it. And I'm not sure why that is. Have you heard about the ISIS booklet? It's a booklet written by ISIS in Arabic that describes to the people that are emigrating into Europe and the United States how they are supposed to behave in the host country. And this booklet says things like, shave your beard change your name, speak the local language, put a crucifix around your neck, go to church, don't go to the mosque, have your meetings in nightclubs where there is loud music so you can make your plans for jihad. It's in writing. Hundreds and hundreds of these booklets have been taken off these people. And guess where they have also found these booklets? The Texas border with Mexico where people are about to get seized by the Border Patrol and they empty their pockets and Border Patrol picks it up in the sand. They're here now. It's on American Islamic relations. It's a, it's a front for a number of terrorist groups in the United States. They're apologists for every time a Muslim kills Americans. They are now legally representing everybody in the family and everyone at that mosque. Now this is the mosque in Fort Pierce, Florida, that has such a radical imam, it produced the first American suicide bomber who blew himself up in Syria two years ago. The second mass murderer to come out of that mosque is this guy who killed 49 people, maybe more, in the nightclub in Orlando. You cannot talk to any member of that mosque without a care attorney present, including all interviews by the FBI, and the FBI is allowing that.